you have any questions, please go to microphone number one, but a quick question from me. So we've been talking to a lot of the um, actors here um, about the fact that a lot of people that do cosplay and a lot of people that attend the conventions are interested in acting themselves. So if there are any potential young actors in the audience, any sort of advice for them getting into the business or how to handle that? Ladies first. Well, I kind of got into the business by accident, you know? So I think um, in some ways there's a lot of luck involved to be from my personal experience. But I think if you're really serious and you just persevere, that's always the only way to get what you really want is to persevere. And also, we live in a new age where there's YouTube channels and you can actually start to make your own things and not wait for somebody else to grant you the space to make it. So I think if you're interested, you should just start making. I'm a little more cynical. <clears throat> I think anybody should wait till they're 18. Mm. Go have a childhood, go do all your shit first you wanna do, because you ain't gonna do it again. Like that's your, that's your one chance to do it and you can always work and you could always go. Have a little childhood, then if you wanna get into the business, start acting find a good class, get into a theater company, do the work, uh, because it's like anything else, you need to practice and you need to learn some technique and before you can really, I'm, I'm not before you can, but you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, you have people that can walk onto a set and kind of say some lines, but if you want to do work, you need to do work and uh, put the time in and then, uh, yeah, you just, um, I think you do by doing. You know, and then yeah, go to go to work, get get a get a gig at a at a theater group, get yeah, find a good class and start. And then yeah, then it's a crapshoot then. Yeah. <laughs> that's when the fun starts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well we've got um a lot of cosplayers, like I said, that's sort of how they start in the business. But we asked uh, Kevin McNally was here yesterday and yeah. he was fantastic and we were talking about how he got into acting. And I have the same question for you guys. What about social media? Do you think that's sort of helping the business, harming the business? And how do you use social media? I, I'm 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 old, so I, I you know, I'm still not really like super Mr. Social Media, it's it's a weird thing to kind of, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So sometimes people help me. I don't know if it's helped or hurt. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, it's just opened up the doors to this whole new, I mean, you know, everybody knows everything about everybody now and you can find anything out and you know what people are doing across the world. And so that way I love it. It's brought a lot of attention to everybody. But there's a lot of talentless people that make a lot of money and get a lot of props for doing f nothing. You know, I was gonna say fuck all, but. <laughs> hey, why not? You know, and, and I think in that respect, you gotta, I think movie making and the movies have suffered a lot. And you got a lot of real untrained work. And uh, yeah, I, 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 some movies that come out are great. Like I, The Revenant was a, the last movie that blew my mind, you know, because it was just a pure movie. Uh, and like people work, like that's somebody you see those, all those actors do their work, and that's what happens when you got a movie like that and you get actors that really, that's the outcome. So, I don't know, that's my opinion on social media. I just, you know, I think it, it's, it's been great and sucked at the same time. Yeah, it's a good and bad, positive and a negative. I would agree with that. I think there's <laughs> positives and negatives. Um, like I said, I was in a theater class when the talent scout for The Never Ending Story came to visit her friend, who was my acting teacher. So she happened to see me, happened to invite me. So I wasn't from, I didn't have an agent. My parents are Near Eastern Studies archeologists. Like it was very much not our world. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Um, so, and I was, um, a dancer as well, and obviously after The Neverending Story, I went into dance, and I had a dance company in New York for 20 years, and now I'm a dance professor. Um, and I have kind of a, a love-hate relationship, I think, with social media. I wasn't really very active on it, but um, I'm very interested in what I advised everybody that's interested in getting into the business myself. Um, my husband and I, we were, thinking about getting back into acting, and I was getting some scripts, but I wasn't very happy with them. And then he wrote a beautiful uh, fantasy film, and uh, director Rob Margolis is interested in raising the money with us, and so we're in the process of making 
a kind of 80s tribute, kind of mashup of Princess Bride, Never Ending Story, with talking animals. I'm really, really excited about it. And so for me, it's kind of like social media is a way for me to produce the film, to, to kind of create a narrative that I'm excited about and be a part of something that I really want to be a part of and a great way for disseminating it. So like all really powerful tools, I think it takes a lot of um, thought to consciously engage with it in a way that's productive. And um, I think all of us are still navigating that landscape, but I think it's here, so we're gonna have to figure out how to use it productively. Very good answer. Well, like you said, social media can be both good and bad, but you did mention a film that you liked. I love asking you guys what you're currently watching now. What are you into in terms of television, films, podcasts? You want to know what I watch. I uh -oh. watch, yeah, I we watch do. I watch cartoons, man. I, I got... I fall asleep to South Park every night in American Dad. I, I watch Mr. Pickles. If you don't know Mr. Pickles, woof. It, yeah. That's my new favorite show. Um, yeah, but I like movies that are movies, you know? I'm, I, I'm still, I can't do the CG, big CGI, Fast and the Furious 12s. I, this is not my bad. I like The Revenant, like, that's a movie to me. The Shining's a movie to me. Apocalypse Now is a movie to me. I have to ask if you've seen Joker. I feel like you would like I it. I haven't. Who's seen Joker? I know in the I audience? suck. I know it's brilliant. Tremendous, I yeah. I haven't seen it. Great, I saw it, loved but, it. Very dark, yeah. disturbing. But yeah. that's my type of, that's my speed. You know, the taxi driver type movies. I, uh, I like action movies and all that, but I just don't think, and I like all the Marvel stuff. Friends of mine make them. I just, it's not, movies to me are like that, like Revenant, where you know, you get the top, of the, top actors, top directors, top everything, and they make a goddamn good movie. That's what I like to see. I like so many things, and then I, my daughter says that everything's my favorite. Like, I'll just say, oh, that's my favorite. She's like, you said that about like 500 things. You have favorite means that it's your favorite. So I kind of get really distracted because whatever was the last thing, that's, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's good. But, that's good quality. <laughs> um, I like anything that Jordan Peele's doing. I think he's a really, really interesting guy. And weird, strange... Uh, my ex-boyfriend from high school's sister married him. But anyway, he's a great director. <laughs> Six degrees of separation. Six degrees of separation. Um, yeah, I like feel-good things like Marvelous Miss Maisel, and I like really dark things. Um, I love Stranger Things. I'm a huge fan of that. Did you see David Harbour here yet? Yes, I did, and I got a selfie with him. It was awesome. 